What's up, Cart Lifer? Sammy D here. Got a quick video update on week one of the Halloween tour. Very chill mode in my game right now, saving and working uh, on this ranked cup. I'll give you an update on it and why I'm in second and what I might do to reclaim first. Um, and we're gonna do my all clear pipe just for you guys. And we have an update on Character Madness Tournament, Cart Life's tournament on our Discord for most wanted original character to Mario Kart Tour. I'll show you the round one results and we'll look at round two real quick. It's very exciting, very fun. Um, terrible shop today. You guys just wanna see what a funny shop looks like. Um, right here, that's it. <laughs> and uh, special pipe is out. I'm not going to be doing pulls on it. Um, you guys know about these spotlight pipes with no, uh, or special pipes with no spotlight or one spotlight. The new cart, the new glider, both non-spotlight. This is a very dangerous road to go down, but if you got the extra rubies and want to toy around with some yellow poles, go for it. There's a lot of good stuff in there and, uh, good high end, uh, odds in general, but uh, be warned, be careful. Um, my ranked cup, um, let's see, what should we do first? I'm going to go, uh, give you a tournament update. So let's go here and we're gonna to go to the tourney brackets. I wanna give a special shout out to Nate, uh, one of our Discord users who's volunteered to put a lot of this data together every day kind of as we go through the tournament. Um, he's putting the top predictions, um, the points for all of y'all's predictions. Grookey for Smash is leading uh, from the pit crew and some others predictions on their brackets. Um, but we're doing this tournament, it's super fun. Round two just started today. So round one has been concluded. Thank you to Puffton also for uh, organizing in these results and rounds each day. We got nicely set up to roll out and round one had some fun matchups. I'll give you a little uh, report on how it all went. So round one, a cranky Kong took out, uh, the number one C was cranky Kong took out the bottom seed of uh, bullet bill. Uh, and then pokey and Mecha Koopa pokey took that one. Um, now we have cranky versus pokey, uh, going on today. So we'll look at how this voting is going down. Um, I can, exp I expect Cranky Con to continue dominance here. Um, then we had Plessy versus Madame Brood. Plessy won out and she'll be going up against King K. Rool who beat Camilla. Um, this is a good one. Uh, I think Plessy and King K. Rool both have a lot of fan bases. So they're matching up in round two. Uh, Rob versus Reznor, of course, our previous driver from Mario Kart, uh, DS. Rob took that. Uh, Reznor's one of the dinos to go down first. Toasterinen from Odyssey took out Count Bleck. So Rob and Toasterinen will be going up against each other. Uh, I expect Rob, cult favorite, to still take this one here. Uh, Angry Sun and Mona in the play-in rounds. Mona from WarioWare winning. will be going up against Goomba. This should be an interesting match in round two because Mona and WarioWare have their fans. Goomba also has their fans. Goomba has a lot of haters as well. So we'll see how that plays out in uh, round 2A going on now. Uh, and we'll jump over there in a second. Round 2B will be tomorrow. Um, and here's how it shook down in round one in this quadrant. Honey Queen beat Spiny. Pom Pom beat Thwomp. Pom Pom's got some fans. And Honey Queen versus Pom Pom, even though Honey Queen is a, a number four seed, uh, uh, very much a favorite to go far uh, with a big fan base. Pom Pom's got a cult fan base as well. Uh, we have Wart uh, taking out Mellow. So Wart from Mario 2 going up against Spike, who took out Piompi from Mario Land, to be expected there. But Wart and Spike, we have these two green reptilian uh, uh, baddies from the Mario universe going out. Uh, going after it in round two. Luma took out bob -omb and Sprixy took out Gino, another uh, RPG character. So Luna, Luma versus Sprixy is also going to be, I think, pretty fierce in round two. Both really cute, uh, both lovable, magical little creatures. Um, uh, Luma from Galaxy Games and Sprixy from 3D World. So going to be a big matchup there, I think. And then Boom Boom will go against EGAD. Boom Boom, one of the Koopalings along with Pom Pom, took out Foreman Spike uh, from the deep lore of Mario Bros and the forthcoming Mario movie. And EGAD took out 60th seed Buzzy Beetle. EGAD's a fifth seed, so he's a, also a favorite to go far. Boom Boom and EGAD should be a good matchup, though. Uh, round 2C, uh, 2A, uh, sorry, round 1C uh, had Wiggler taking out Cheap Cheap and Boo taking out Olivia from Origami King. So we have Wiggler and Boo in uh, in this round. I expect Wiggler to dominate there. Blooper versus Cappy in round two. Um, 
uh, C is going to be really interesting. Uh, all, both white uh, characters with little floating tentacles. And uh, yeah, Helen Gravely will say bye. Cami Koopa also saying bye. Blooper versus Cappy will be a really good matchup. Charging Chuck versus Paratroopa is going to be crazy. Um, Paratroopa has a big fan base. Charging Chuck is the 10th seed. Um, pretty well known. And any of the sports players are going to like him. Um, then we have Pucci who beat Mouser from Mario 2. That was a little bit of a surprise uh, upset, even though Pucci is seated higher. I expected Mouser to do well. And then Waddle Wing continues its dominance all the way from the wild card play in out of nowhere, getting more votes than anyone in the play in rounds. Waddle Wing will go against Pucci. And it, is there anything cuter than that? Uh, I challenge you to, to let me know. Uh, PD Piranha took. Uh, took out fuzzy so we're we're just uh revealing these results right now um noshi and dory this was the battle of the blue dinosaurs and actually dory took it from noshi even though noshi featured in mario kart tour featured on kart life's character wish list that's right the the blue dino from dino dino jungle um dory took him out the older super mario 64 era uh blue dinosaur so that's crazy. Pianta beat Rex. That's another blue dino gone um, to a sunshine uh, side character that a lot of people love. Pianta did really well. And we'll go up against Penguin, who took out Tatanga. So Pianta versus Penguin right there in that second group is going to be, I think, a very close match in round two. Uh, speaking of very close, intense matches, Ninji will meet Sumo Bro in round two. Um, taking out Sidestepper and Sledge Bro, respectively, Ninja vs. Sumo Bro is going to be, I mean, that's a great matchup. Can you just appreciate the the Ninja Warrior versus the Sumo Warrior? Um, and then Sniffit beat Noki, Toadsworth beat Vivian, Toadsworth number six seed, uh, very uh, very popular fan favorite character to to go far, predicted by many. So I expect Toadsworth to take that one. But it's all going down right here in the Discord, you can see. And uh, thank you again to Nat. There's attorney chat is going crazy all day today from the results. So um, round two A is now open. Let's see how it's going. So we have Cranky, sure enough, dominating over Pokey. Uh, I guess Pokey will go down here. It's sad to see a little bit. He's a cool supporting bad guy, but when you go up against Cranky Kong, one of the front runners to win this whole thing, uh, it's going to be tough. Plessy versus King K. Rule. I knew this was going to be close, and it's a dead tie as of right now, 47 minutes into round two. Uh, Rob versus Toasterine, and Toasterine actually doing a little better than I fared there. Um, but Rob's still having a good lead, and the same lead holds for Goomba over Mona, uh, as expected there. Uh, but yeah, get in, get in on the votes, guys. I'm going to go ahead and weigh mine in. I'm going to go Cranky. Um, although I would love to just throw a vote for Pokey just for, for support. Um, Plessy vs. King K. Roll, just simply for the fact that I'm not as deep of a Kong lore uh, connoisseur as a lot of you guys. I actually don't know the DK Country games well. I didn't ever play them. So maybe in a, uh, I don't know, it's just one of those games I'd love to play through sometime with you guys, DK Country. I did start it uh, in a game room special for members. Anyway, blah, 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 Plessy. Uh, shout out to Puff Tons, favorite. Uh, Rob vs. Toast Arena. This is really close, but I got to go with Rob. Um, he's a returning driver, and I would love to see him there. He's a, it's a cool Nintendo reference, too, just an old Nintendo toy and product. Goomba vs. Mona, this is really tough. Um, I think I'm just going to go for Goomba, though. I love Mona. She was my pick. Uh, she took out Ashley in the WarioWare plan. I was really surprised, actually, to see that. Um, I do love Mona. I would love to see WarioWare stuff come to the game. Do not get me wrong. It's one of my big wishes. But I don't know. I might switch this. I might switch this. I'm, I'm not sure yet. Stand by. Uh, I'll, I'll wait on that one later. <laughs> um, all going down here on the Discord, though. Do check it out, everybody. It's been super fun. Thanks again to Nate. Um, let's talk about the game now. We're going to look at my Ranked Cup. Week one, I'm chilling. I'm saving rubies. I'm up to 327. I really want to get 40 rubies for the win here. I'm in really good shape, but I'm going to have to make a big move or two. I'll tell you about it uh, if I want to get first. And I do want to get first. I want to use some of these tickets. Look at what I have in my ticket stash, guys. 17 driver tickets, five cart tickets, 12 glider tickets. The coveted glider tickets have been appearing for me more often than cart tickets, actually. Cart tickets are down because of Tanuki cart going to the spa for level six on my account. Um, now, I have a lot of these drivers and carts, but I do not just want to dump them all away. No, 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 no. I want to be very as intentional as ever about using them. 
Um, the question comes up a lot. Do you use tickets to win ranked? Well, yes, I kind of do, as long as they're not nonsensical moves uh, that will not help me out at all in the future. So I'm trying to figure out what moves can I do that will use some of these tickets, but still leave me with a nice, healthy stash going forward until week two and next tour, which has been data mined, uh, somewhat controversial um, uh, tour uh, coming forward. But I'm looking forward to it. Maybe more savings coming next tour. But I want to maintain my resources as best I can. Uh, but I do want to get first. I, and I want to have a better time on London Loop than going in with Black Birdo. Um, she just kind of fell into my lap into level four uh, in the course of an all clear pipe and a couple pulls during Kamek tour and a one pack I got at that time. Uh, and then you have some really tricky choices here where drivers like Mario Baseball, who I was praying to get in like a YOLO single back in the Los Angeles tour, uh, here I, I have him now and I'm not going to give him tickets. No, because I have, uh, same goes to Fire Rosa, by the way, um, but I have Holidaisy still at level one. I actually pulled her back in the original Holiday Tour uh, series. So, you know, I've never invested in her. A lot of people are. And Studfit raised a good point. Are they giving these Christmas holiday drivers uh, like Santa Mario, Ranger Yoshi, and Daisy um, some appearances to make us really want to pull in those pipes when they come back in the holidays? Um, we'll see if they have long-term value after that. But all it comes down to, guys, is I hate the bomb cannon so much that even pulling Waluigi Vampire uh, right here on a free, uh, uh, free um, single pipe my third freebie was was waluigi as you guys saw uh, but bomb cannon is just so um unpleasant for me to grind whereas taking holidays to level four level five with some driver tickets maybe uncapping her once or maybe even twice going for lucky seven frenzy so much easier there uh, i have the chemex zoom broom i don't like it guys i've fully i've fully kind of decided i really do not like how the hitbox operates um the paints are a lot bigger <clears throat> better hitbox um but i'm just keeping the zoom room at four right now it's already at 595 that'll be fine i don't have a lot of cart tickets and i have a glider problem here where i only have a level one and two glider got the premium challenges to take this to level two and this is the one i am focusing on possibly giving more tickets to uh professor j was kind enough to do a deep dive into my bam and gerbs tracker with me and we look at some of the tracks and the coverage and this is the one that's going to give me the best coverage out of the other two parasol kind of you know should have taken it higher earlier if i'd had it um at the time and ship's wheel is still too new to say it's a little bit of a gamble was lucky to get it and i did do like two what two tin pulls on a special pipe just to get that thing and again here we are and i have it and i'm reluctant to put tickets onto that keep those future perspectives in mind as you play because it's just funny the scenarios we get into now meanwhile on rainbow road t and ghost valley 1r I've got good loadouts. Uh, I've got good runs already. Um, I could get over 50K on Rainbow Road with coin box, uh, Gold King Blue level seven, double capped, uh, Gold Glider double capped level seven, Happy Ride at six double, uh, Ghost Valley is Kamek triple, triple as you know, uh, level seven, um, Tanuki Car at six, Dream Glider at six, both double capped, both very good. Um, but actually, what if I triple capped Gold King Boo or PGP? Uh, smaller hitbox on PGP due to her scaling uh, as a middleweight driver. King Boo is a heavyweight, um, but she's used in rank next week. And triple capping my second ever driver after Kamek could get me um, 52, 53K even on an optimal run. I really like grinding Rainbow Road T. So I'm going to do some work because this guy has just passed me right here. Uh, potential to improve a little bit as well, I would say, especially on London Loop. Um, and then we have PNX player right here, NAR6IK. Uh, I have it on good authority. He is going to be doing some more upgrades. Um, so I could see people jumping up to 120. And if so, um, I'll need to do a serious grind, a serious investment or two. But don't worry, guys. I'm not going to blow all of these tickets on ranked. If it's out of my reach, I'm going to do the smart thing. But it's an exciting ranked cup for sure. And uh, I'll be working on it a little bit today and tomorrow. Got a friend in town. It's beautiful fall weather. Hope you're enjoying the fall. Um, so playing uh, when I can and, and really enjoying the grind, but, you know, chilling, chilling hard after a very intense period around Camp Hector and anniversary. Um, loving it. Loving it, though, guys. Tilikum is at 139, leading the pit crew friend rankings. Um, pursuing that pit crew chief title, perhaps. So very cool. Um, we see what he's got working here. A level seven triple cap Jolly Bells. 
till it comes from my uh, pit crew whales, I suppose. Um, I, I'll, I'll let him decide what, what type of player he is. But always getting monster scores. And Nat, one of my whale captains, in second place with 136. So I got some new faces at the very top of the pit crew friend rankings, which is awesome. Carlos, Octavia, and Calm, as usual, are high up here. And then rounding out the top 10, uh, Kanye East, that's Kareem the Dream. Kruga, Studfit, Seti, and Arthur. Arthur, one of my man, uh, one of my boys with the same ranked group as I have this week. A lot of people have these cluster of players. Then we got Jeeves, aka Thank You Tabor. We got Prod by Demo, Hero, Quags, Aussie Cart, Jay, uh, Frenzy Grind, all besting Sammy uh, at 18th place and higher. And uh, I'll pull, I'll post some kind of final results on the Discord uh, after ranked week ends. We got Pyro here with 111, just under. Uh, Mark Guanlin Zhao, Whale Captain. Nikki V, Spicy Mayo. Uh, maybe this is Jeeves. Thank you, Tabor. We have another Thank You, Tabor. And indeed, Thank You, Tabor. Uh, Knight Rosso, Pit Crew Rage, Jack Dark Blue Yoshi. Yoshi Bear, Jordan, Larry98, Tim, Dyron, David G, Natalie. Uh, we got the Cardio Bros down here. We got Peach Hime, Galaxy Queen, uh, Sergeant Spike, Snicker Bobble, um, and Gold Shy Girl. Big shout out as always. Um, Ham is here. Shadows, Mr. Diamond probably sleeping, and Grookey down here at the bottom of the pit crew, but at the top of our character madness predictions. So um, sorry to not be able to go into too much more detail on that. Uh, we're going to go to the all clear pipe now. Um, I think this will do it. Let's go over to my notes. I have written up here. Um, yes, my all clear pipe history for you guys to see. I keep track of this. Uh, and make sure that uh, Hero helps me uh, when I forget something, like the macaron last time. Uh, Wishlist for the Halloween tour. It's a lot of stuff I can use in ranked, actually. Chocolate donut, like I said. I would love to give a few of my glider tickets there. Uh, those glider tickets are very precious to me, though. So getting an extra chocolate donut, I think it was added, right? I'm not crazy. Um, Black Birdo, again, if I have to take her to five by getting a freebie as well, that that might be an option. Uh, Crawly Cart still at five. I'm using it next week in ranked, so I want to make sure I get that to six as soon as I need to. Black Yoshi also next week in ranked. And then Black Great Sale right here. This is like the alternative of like, what do I do with, you know, 13 glider tickets? I could take the Black Great Sale all the way, you know, and uh, it's actually, it would become my number one glider. I got it really late in the game. So that could be a massive move I do as soon as it's in ranked cup next. But I'm trying not to do it before then prematurely. Uh, I don't have the Choco Macaron and the Iron Cucumber. So those are the two items and the only two items left in the All Clear Pipe uh, allotment that I don't have. Um, so we're going to go versus Mega King Boo. Uh, we're going to take... Uh, should I do Tanuki just for... Uh, I think I will. Just for, uh, just for the fun of it. And the Tanuki card. I'm still... Um, I've yet to let the Super Leaf uh, defeat me. Uh, it's all about taming the tail, hashtag tame the tail, and uh, try not to be in place where you get the tail and get the uh, get the front running position. Let's see if we can front run around um, Gold King Boo. Now he actually, I mean King Boo, he actually has the Choco Macaron. Oh wow, he cuts you off right at the beginning. He has the Choco Macaron. That's an interesting, uh, Little feature. I wonder if that's uh, foreshadowing that. Oh my gosh, the back spam. It doesn't even matter if I don't win this. I like that the mega. There we go with the snipe. I like that the mega challenges have gotten a little bit harder lately. Uh, I feel like the AI on the mega bosses has gotten tougher, and I really like that. Like, remember that one time on Vancouver when uh, whoever it was, mega, someone with a bomb cannon, and they were shooting us out of the gliding section, just like clockwork with everyone. That was really good. Um, so should have probably kept auto item off for this, but we're safe. We are safe and it's time for the all clear pipe. Yeah, so once again, character madness going on in the Discord. Hope you'll join in. Uh, shout out to all my members. Shout out to the pit crew. Um, doing well, just doing a little bit easier video content today just to make my life easier and my work and friends in town as well. Uh, so thanks, as always, for the support. And we've got the all-clear pipe to close us out today. What do we have? Let's take a look at our little video. I uh, would love to get, honestly, uh, that chocolate donut. I'm kind of embracing it, I think. Um, I mean, I do love donuts. So I like my strawberry donuts at level 7, actually. 
So, I mean, it would kind of be cool to like have both donuts really high and powerful um, and, you know, make sure they have the value. I mean, I'm not going to do something if it doesn't have uh, cover me on some tracks where I'm a little bit lacking. Definitely do thorough research into the trackers with the help of Jay and others. And uh, yeah, check out the Discord if you need help with that yourself. So, all cups cleared, all clear pipe. What's it going to be? A boring dupe or something spectacular? Okay, so I would call this a boring dupe, but it is a level six Crimson Crane. And the, the, the reason I had one of five is because of an all clear pipe. In fact, if we go in here, I'm pretty sure that, oh, my note thing always doesn't work. Well, I'll do that later. It, my notes are crashing, but the reason I have one of five is because of an all clear pipe just a couple tours ago. Now let's see if the scores have refreshed, um, see how much work I gotta do. Not yet, um, only needing a thousand right now, but I know for a fact that PNX player is gonna be pushing more, others might as well. Thanks for tuning in guys, see you in week two. I'll probably do a little week two uh, screen recording just like this. Um, stay home, stay safe, be kind to one another, have fun guys, uh, enjoy the game, enjoy the game, enjoy the game, see you on the Discord.